budgets to body cameras. Action 7 News reporter Brandon Evans talked to both parties about what you should expect. With the continued impact the pandemic is having on the oil and gas industry, the state's budget remains the top priority. House Democrat Javier Martinez believes the state is ready to resolve the current $400 million shortfall without having to make any drastic cuts. Uh, over the last several years, we've put in away enough money in reserves so that the economic hit of a downturn would not be as great on the budget. Martinez does not feel, however, the state is ready to address the projected $2 billion that will be short in the next fiscal year. We're going to lay the groundwork, but we're going to come back and do that one in January. He says they don't know how much more federal funding the state will get or if the oil and gas industry will rebound. But Republican House Rep Rod Montoya says future budget issues need to be addressed now. We will be forced in January and February to look at drastic cuts to the budget or massive tax increases or some combination of the two. Um, and that's just because uh, they're failing to address it now in this special session. The governor wants several other things done during the special session, among them a bill on police reform. It would require law enforcement to wear body cameras, ban chokeholds, and make police disciplinary history public record. Unlike the budget, Martinez says this is something that cannot wait. You know, th this is a first step into into rebuilding um, uh, the public trust, uh, which I think has been eroded dramatically over the last uh, few years. And while Montoya agrees with the need for police reform, he says there is not enough time in this special session to look at the financial impact. What does it cost? Who's going to pay for it? What are the ramifications? All of that gets thrown out the window. Montoya says he fears these additional bills are being fast tracked with far less oversight than in previous sessions. Reporting, Brandon Evans, KOT Action 7 News. Lawmakers are also expected to discuss election reform and waiving penalties and interest for small businesses and people who have fallen behind on their taxes. <laughs>